We just made these two inexpensive solar lanterns in about 30 minutes, and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, me and Pockets are putting together some lanterns, getting ready for Paul Revere's midnight ride. <laughs> Well, I don't know about the midnight ride, but we are going to make some lanterns, some solar lanterns this week. It's summertime and we like sitting out on our porch and we have a standing post with a little uh, solar lantern on it, super cute. So now we want some on our stairs to kind of light up our walkway a little bit. So we're gonna show you how to build those. They're gonna be super quick, super easy, and pretty affordable. Oh yeah. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed a solar light because we're making a solar lantern. Well, we're gonna make two of them. So we have two solar lights. We're gonna make a 12 inch and an 18 inch. So what do we need? So we're gonna need some one inch dowels. We have a couple of 36 inches. We're gonna cut them in half. Those are our 18 inches. And we needed some 3 8 inch dowels because we're gonna need a little lip to set this uh, solar lamp onto. And then we found these cute little poplar one inch dowels already cut at 12 inches. This is what makes this project so easy is that these are already cut. So you yeah, only have to cut. make a few small cuts. So 12. if you're itching for a project with your pocket saw, this is like the perfect little quick and easy afternoon project. Anytime I have to make less cuts is a win in my book. <laughs> we also needed some brad nails. These are inch and a half and some glue. And I think that is it. I think that's it. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. We're gonna start by cutting this 36 inch, one inch dowel in half. We need four 18 inches. We're gonna make all of these cuts with my friend, your friend, my pocket saw. <laughs> Safety first, Garrett. Safety first, Kim. <laughs> Now we're gonna cut 12 of these one inch dowels down to three and seven eighths. But I'm gonna use a piece of scrap wood as a stop block so that they're all exactly three and seven eighths. And we're only doing them three and seven eighths because these are 12 inch pieces and we wanna get three out of them. So you can't get four because of the width of the blade. So we're get three and seven eighths. <laughs> of the 3 8 inch dowels down to 3 and 7 8 and then two at 3 inches flat. Step three, time to assemble it. We're gonna make two frames that kind of look like this and then we're gonna pin those two frames together with some small pieces again. Super easy. Super easy. Let's make sure all these little pieces land in the same spot. I'm gonna draw a line first. So we have one that goes at the top, and we're gonna have one that goes a little bit down, and I'm gonna use one as a spacer. I'm gonna turn them all to one side. Now why are you doing this? That way I'll know on two sides where that little brace should land. All right, now let's pin them together. I'm gonna try to make sure it's this way. A little bit of glue. A little dab will a do. A little good. dab of glue. Don't get crazy with the glue, like I just did. That might be a little too much. So I use a little, little smidge of glue. Now we're gonna hit it with a one and a half inch brad the nail, not the guy. Put the little frame in now. 
I wanna, I wanna look and see, like for this one, do I wanna set it in there? Do I wanna set it on top? Yeah, Maybe does, I just leave it on do top. Do we set it flush? Do we set it up on top? Does it go a whole other level down? What do you think? I'm saying it sits on top. I think it'll look kind of cool sitting just up on top. Just like a little lantern on yeah, top? Yeah, like a little lantern up on top. All right, I like it. So we're gonna put the little three and seven eighth inch piece right in the lip, two of those. And then we're gonna put this little three inch piece right in there. That's Ooh. because the little solar lanterns that we have chosen are actually the exact width of this opening. So it needs just a tiny little, just lip, a little lip to hold it. All right, before I paint, I'm gonna go ahead and fill each of these little nail holes with some wood filler and any little gaps that I might see. It looks pretty tight, but we're gonna do that and then let it dry and sand a little, the little holes there before we get ready to paint. Step four. Now we paint. <laughs> We're gonna use the Country Chic Simplicity and just throw a quick coat on here. Yeah, the great thing about these is they're so versatile. You can stain them, you can paint them. We talked about lots of different paint schemes, but settled on something pretty universal. We're gonna do white. We're gonna add a coat of this antiquing wax right over it to give it that distressed look. Yeah, that way we don't actually have to distress it. Yes. Now we're just gonna slap them up, flip them, and rub them down <laughs> with a little wax. A little antiquing wax. What he means is. <laughs> I'm gonna give a little dab. Oh, oh a I'm gonna give a dab. little bigger dab. A harder dab. It's been a minute. Don't worry. I'm gonna rub it off and just hit some of these pieces, right? Corners and stuff. You want yeah, to do more it? than that. No, I don't really know what I want to do. Yeah, I want it a little more. Yeah, yeah. Don't be afraid of the wax, Garrett. Be one with the wax. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Where's my little buff cloth? I need it. Wonder if I could just use this paper towel here. Yeah. That thing out in the garage. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Brand well, new, super old looking. Yeah, I wanted that distressed look. I got it. All right. So to finish up this paint job, we are going to add. Where's it at? A top coat. So you can spray this with polycrylic, but I'm going to add some tough coat on this. Tough coat. This makes it so. This is great for things like the top of a table where you might have. A lot of wear glass. and tear. Yes, a lot of wear and tear. These are going to sit outside and also sit on the ground. So I'm hoping this top coat, top coat, tough coat <laughs> is going to add a nice layer of protection on these. So I'm going to go ahead and add Yo, that. TC, TC. <laughs> the accent. Well, we're just gonna put the light in the top. That's really all that's happening. <laughs> well, not just put the light in the top. This is what's going to make it a lantern. This yeah. is like the accent. This is the main thing of the whole thing. So Time to add the don't accent. Minimize it. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. We have a little, a little nub at the bottom of this thing. Yeah. So we're gonna cut that off and then just drop it in there. This little Fisker saw is so great. Love this little thing. Yeah, look. Can you see them lighting up? I don't know if you can see. Well, we're gonna go take some, show you some pictures 
right now. you think super easy right crazy easy a couple and of cuts it's a little bit of glue a few nails well and you can make them just different sizes you see all we did was change the size of the uh Good. arms the yeah. legs here i want to make a third one I, I really have time and i only bought two of the lanterns but i want to make like a six inch version and have it as like a tabletop version I think they're so cute, and you can display three of them together. How cute would the third one be? Yeah, without the paint, this only took a couple of minutes. I'd say 30 minutes to put these together, and then the rest of the time was probably paint and waiting for the stuff to dry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Doing not a, bad complete the whole all. project in an afternoon. Just pump these out. <laughs> Great. A big thanks to our patrons. Uh, we love you guys. Oh, were you going to say something, Kim? <laughs> That fine. interrupt you? It's fine. I was just going to say, they would make great gifts or um, make great accents for weddings. It's wedding season. Oh, yeah. You can put these on tables because this you can be add great. little things, flower and greenery on the inside of these. Oh, good idea. I yeah. know. Yeah. I know. You're always with the ideas. <laughs> but we're about out of time. So if you're not going to join us for the patron after show, we will see you next Friday where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Or you can join us on Tuesday afternoons at 4, where we're always painting a new sign with a new design. So come check us out and hang out with us. New sign design on Tuesdays. It's like Test Cut Tuesdays. Yeah, it's our live. We do a live on Tuesday. <laughs>